Hello, my crafty friends. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I turned this into this. This is their Hero Arts frame and cut set. I've never used these ornament stamps before. I did want to show you this. They were kind of fiddly, and but you'll see at the end they turned out really well, I thought. And the three colors I used for these was Perfect Plum, Knight of Navy, and Delicata Gold. Now the stamp has the string separately, but the die is made with that to where you could cut the string out. And it only had that for two of the ornaments and not the third one. The third one was just the ornament by itself. So that was a little bit strange. But anyway, if I didn't say before, I used Perfect Plum, Knight of Navy, and Delicata Gold. And I also used my gold jelly roll pen to uh, highlight anything that wasn't quite stamped correctly. And for that reason, I didn't use all of them. But I traded off the colors. And you will see at the end how they turned out. I used one on some cards and two on the other. It's a really cute little set. I just haven't used it much. Oops, excuse my arm. We are almost done stamping, and I did die cut them off camera because it took a while. <laughs> and so we're almost done with the ornament stamping. And we will get on with the rest. As I explained before in my other video on embellishments, I used my Southwestern Couple, and I also used the little hats I got from Etsy. I made 10 of these for my embellishments, and I'm going to be making cards with them. So let's get started. Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nikki, Little Crafty Nook. I used this die that I bought from 123 Stitch to make all these pine boughs. Now I have different colors, and so I will mix and match as we go along. I cut out these fireplace fireplaces. This was a die from Poppy Stamps. And I have three embossing folders, the presents, snowflakes, and ornaments. I will be going to a voiceover for the creation of the cards. So if you have any questions, Please let me know down in the comments. Here we go. I did forget to mention earlier that I am using all Stampin' Up! paper. It is from an older Christmas set, which I love the colors. The patterns are, uh, and they're so varied. That's one reason I cut my Southwestern Couple die in the colors I did. The, the Garden Green and the uh, Cherry Cobbler are pretty close anyway. I cut my pine boughs in Tranquil Tide, Garden Green, and a green that I just happen to have in my stash. So this is my first card. And I layered up the pine boughs. I think that looks kind of pretty. And I applied glue several different ways <laughs> to try to find what worked. You'll see the different ways throughout. I'm cutting another mat and I don't always emboss them but when I did I did that off camera mostly. You will see one. I 
I think I made two with this particular pattern. I didn't use any of the reds, really. I like the variation more. Now here's where I think I might have used a bit too much glue. <laughs> yeah, what do you think? Yeah, but for the most part, I kept them on this side because the pine boughs in their direction. I tried to cut out all the little bits where I uh, was using my pokey tool to get the little pieces out of the pine boughs that I had forgotten to do before. But I did run into an issue where I spilled the beverage that I had on my desk spilled over and I ended up ruining a couple of my Southwest couples. And so I had to redo them and the Santa hats. But no harm, no foul. I think I did have to do a couple of pine boughs also. Now this is where I discovered that the fireplace isn't going to fit. So I don't use those at all on these cards. I'm making a black mat. And this is where I pull out my Texture Boutique. No, I guess I'm just going to do this. I'm not going to emboss this one. Okay. And then I decide to flip it over and use the music because it's portrait style and it looks fine. This is where I'm doing more gluing off out of frame. Some of that I edited out because it's not all necessary. We know, <laughs> you know that I'm gluing. I layered up um, the tranquil tide with the garden green, and sometimes I used the, the regular green with garden green. Now here's another snowflake pattern that I particularly liked. So I used it. And this is where I bring out the Texture Boutique to use the snowflake embossing folder. And because the paper is five by four and a quarter, you don't see very much of the snowflake pattern. But it's there. I know it's there. And what I love about the, the paper you see to the left, it kind of looks like old-fashioned wallpaper. I use that in my Christmas journal also. And this is where I messed up and I put them on the other side because <laughs> the pine bow is kind of only goes one direction ideally and so I was messing around with that trying to figure out how to do that and it ended up just just being over the Santa hat so it worked I had to be a little bit more strategic about where I put the ornament <laughs> and you'll see that I might still have to cut down the very top of the pine bow where it sticks out over the cord base. Now this is going to be my first landscape card. It's the only one in the set actually. But again I wanted to use the music. So I'm using I'm using both red and green 
on the uh, on the music. And there's the tranquil tide again. It kind of reminds me of the Douglas fir. And so you can see really quickly why there was just no room for the fireplace. I'll do something different with those. I think you'll be really cute. I just made a run to Michael's today. I cut out and embossed some more cherry it's cherry red by Gina K designs and I embossed those and I cut these down to I think it's five by three and three quarters so that we I could show some more of the embossing I think there's one that's regular five by four and a quarter or five and a quarter by four what am I thinking oh, I'm not I'm doing this over after my whole first setup botched up and iMovie wouldn't let me do a voiceover so I just had to start completely over. A little frustrating but quicker than the last time. So there's my pretty wallpaper paper. And I went through two snail runner tapes and then I finally ended up using my Tomo mono adhesive. Excuse the arms. Okay, we're almost done with the card fronts. Now I'm going to start making the card bases. Let me get out my scoreboard. And this is vanilla. It's it's light. It's not a hundred pound, but I have lots of it, and I think it went very well with the background of the designer series paper. And I did do a couple of white ones, and that's for this pattern that you see to the right of you now. I think that worked out better. Okay, I'm putting all the card fronts on, but then I think, oh, no, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm going to stamp the card base first in the inside before I put the front on. That has happened to me more than once. And, of course, I could always put a mat inside and stamp, stamp on it, and that's fine, too. But it would have taken extra time, so I just stopped right where I was and started stamping the blank card base. Because this is what I had to do here. I just grabbed a piece of five and a quarter by four that I happen to have handy. I cut a bunch for my other Christmas cards that don't have sentiments yet. So I'm using... Merry Christmas, and I can't remember the exact sentiment, but I'm using alternating Gordon Green and Cherry Cobbler. And I think it looks great on the vanilla. You can see it. I think it's have a Merry Christmas to you and to those you love, something like that. But these will be going out to my square dance friends. I have lots more than that, but these 10 are special. <laughs> yep, so here's where I run out, and I use my Dumbo Mono for the rest of the cards. 
and it works just fine. It lasts a long time and it, it just works great. This is my landscape card. The only one in the set. Oh, yeah, uh, I got a little bump there. The alarm, of course, is meant to go off no matter if you have the volume off or what because you have to have your alarm. So I had to restart it. Okay, we are almost done with putting the card base, card fronts on the card bases. And then we'll get to the final decorating. Oh, I couldn't find my bone folder for those last two white ones. And so I had to use the end of a paintbrush. <laughs> it was hilarious. But it did the job. All right, we are getting ready to put the decorations on, the little ornaments. They're really tiny. I think I will do something different next time because they're just so small, hard to work with. So as we finish up the cards, oh, I did want to say that I did try to use the gold to make a little string there, but it didn't show up. So I ended up using, just using my blue ballpoint pen, and you can see that. So as I'm finishing up the cards here, I'm going to stop the voiceover and just put on some music for you. If you hung out with me all the way to the end of the video, I want to thank you very much for your support. And if you want to watch more creative things like this, please watch the video at the end of this one. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.